Hi everyone, uh, I'm Mike Calvinis. I'm one of the co-founders of Brink. Uh, we're building uh, an automation protocol for DeFi. Uh, this basically lets users um, create uh, trades and other DeFi actions that will be executed in the future based on certain market conditions that they specify. Um, we're a team of four. Uh, we've been working uh, on uh, our mainnet release, uh, which we have scheduled pretty soon. Um, we've got a demo to show uh, a sneak peek at what we have in that mainnet release. Um, we're uh, showcasing the limit orders feature. We're going to be adding stop loss orders soon after. Um, but uh, here's a demo of our um, web application and uh, limit orders feature. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Calvinis. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Brink. And at Brink, we're building automated transactions for DeFi. So. DeFi users today interact with protocols directly by creating transactions, paying gas for those transactions, submitting them to a blockchain for some immediate action to be taken. Uh, and these actions could be swaps, uh, staking for yield on a vault, uh, creating an LP asset or rebalancing an LP asset. Uh, but there is no way for users to uh, specify some conditions for future execution of these actions, that it's always uh, a point in time immediate transaction. So simple uh, things like conditional orders, limit orders or stop loss orders uh, are not possible to do in a crypto native way. So we are actually building this as a fully decentralized system that allows users to specify parameters for conditional execution of orders and allows any executor to uh, take those orders and when the market conditions are ready for them, uh, execute them for a profit. So Brink is uh, not a liquidity source. It actually interacts with existing DeFi liquidity sources uh, such as Uniswap. Um, and Brink can operate on, not just on uh, L1 mainnet, but also on layer twos or really any EVM compatible chain. So we'll be deploying to Ethereum mainnet primarily. That's the first, that's our first release uh, on our roadmap. Uh, we're also gonna be deploying to Arbitrum and Optimism. And then the uh, Brink protocol can be deployed on many, many more chains in the future. Uh, users can actually use the same account address for all those chains. So it makes it very, very convenient to create orders. Um, so the team has been heads down working on our, our V1 release. Uh, we have uh, open source code available for the smart contracts. Uh, we built an SDK that developers can use to interact with Brink. Um, and you can interact with Brink through the SDK as a, a user creating orders through the SDK and uh, submitting those orders for execution. You can also use the SDK to build an executor for Brink and uh, you can run that executor for profit. Um, and what that effectively does is, is takes order flow from uh, the Brink network and crosses that with existing liquidity uh, to fill those orders for users. So you can take either role in the system uh, as, a, as a developer interacting uh, directly with the Brink protocol. We're also releasing a very simple web application uh, as part of our V1 launch that allows you to create limit orders and manage your assets in uh, your Brink account. So uh, your Brink account works very, very similarly to any other dApp that you would use. You, you can deposit uh, assets from your MetaMask account or any wallet into uh, your Brink smart contract account. The assets show up here. Uh, you can go to the orders tab and create limit orders here. You see that I've, I've created some uh, that are pending execution. So you can see the, the orders you've created. You can cancel them explicitly. If you put an expiry date, uh, then they could actually expire before execution, um, in which case you would never pay a fee for creating that order. The orders are, are free to create. So I can create a limit order through this form I select the assets that I would like to be involved in the order. Uh, I select the, or I type in the output or the input of the order and it gives me the uh, estimated output. 
I can change the, the price to um, something that's above the, the current market price and then sign the order. I get a MetaMask prompt uh, to sign a message. I'm not actually paying gas here. I'm just signing a message and then publishing that uh, to the network so that executors can pick that up and, and mine it for me when it's ready to be uh, executed. So I can go ahead and submit that. Once that order is executed, uh, the assets will be reflected in my, uh, uh, my assets page here. Um, you can also view your Brink smart contract account on Etherscan or Xerion or any, uh, any application that allows you to view an Ethereum address. And what's different about Brink is you actually own this account exclusively. This is not like a pooled contract where many users are putting assets into, into this address. This is just your address. So you can treat this as if it's uh, one of your wallets or EOAs, and you can track assets through, through any tool that you would use to track, track your assets normally. Uh, so we've got some really exciting features planned for the future. Uh, I just showed you the limit orders feature on the web app. We're gonna be adding um, stop loss orders uh, we're also working with the Uniswap grants program on uh, range orders, which is a uh, Uniswap V3 specific limit order. And we're really excited about that. Uh, I just want to thank the uh, Sanctuary Capital team and um, say that we're very excited to be part of the Sanctuary Turbo beta class. And we look forward to continuing to work with all of you in the future. Thank you.